Welcome to The Hidden Truth. We're still pretty new to YouTube and we're looking to expand our channel. If you enjoy our videos, please consider sharing them on social media or other UFO communities. Your support means everything to us. Ashland. The 20-year-old woman walked out of the warehouse 24-hour gym around midnight, her workout complete. She turned to the right and headed to her car in the well-lit parking lot. There were no other vehicles in the lot on that side of the building constructed and opened in 2018, but she was reportedly not alone on the cool, clear spring night of April 24, 2021. The woman heard a twig snap. She looked and saw a creature, seven or eight feet tall and covered in gray fur, racing back into the woods about 30 yards away. It was far too large, likely several hundred pounds, and moved too quickly to be a man, she believed. Shaken and in tears, she called her parents from a nearby restaurant, asking them to come and drive her home. She had likely encountered a Sasquatch, according to nationally acclaimed Bigfoot investigator Matthew Moneymaker, who has devoted much of his life to the pursuit of the mysterious creature, including the national cable TV show Finding Bigfoot. Moneymaker, a California resident who founded the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization in 1995, spoke to the woman and to her father before posting the report on his website. There were plans to visit her in person to gain more information and research the location of the sighting, outside the gym at 1151 Commerce Parkway on the city's east side. Unfortunately, Moneymakers said some of the woman's friends and co-workers learned of her experience through the website and made light of her claim. She and her father asked her name to be removed from the website report, a request with which Moneymaker complied. She isn't interested in further participation. She isn't backing off what she claimed she saw. She stands by what she saw, and so do her parents, he said. She is a young woman that doesn't want people who may be ignorant making fun of her. I believe her, and I do think it happened. This is not a hoax report. Moneymaker, who lived in Ohio for four years in the early 1990s, while earning a law degree from the University of Akron, said the woman's stories raised far more green flags than red ones. It was those green flags that led me to believe there is something to this, he said. Her father is the one who filed the report on the website. He has a lot of trust and faith in his daughter and what she said she saw that night. He knows she saw something that scared her. According to the report Moneymaker authored, the Ashland woman was certain the creature she saw was not any other kind of animal or a human being in a costume. It ran back into the woods at an angle to right and was quickly obscured from review by the corner of the gym building. She only saw a side view as it ran off with large arms swinging. She said she most likely would not have noticed it at all, but for the noise of the twig breaking, which she assumed was caused by the creature standing on wood debris, Moneymaker wrote. The way it bolted off when it fled is what frightened her the most. It was very fast. The girl's father went to the site the next morning and found lots of deer tracks and exposed patches of ground around that parcel of woods, a quarry often pursued by Sasquatch, according to Moneymaker. Moneymaker, who is familiar with the area, used maps available on the internet to examine the surrounding area, resulting in more green flags. Whichever way that deer would use to access that island of woods, behind the warehouse gym, it's likely the same pathway the Sasquatch would have used. If a deer or Sasquatch came to those woods from the north, there was only 100 yards or so of exposed field to cross in the dark before reaching a large swampy area connected to the Jerome Fork of the Mohican River. So the location is more plausible for a Sasquatch than it appears at first in aerial photos. The key element is the presence of deer that shows there is both a pathway and a reason for a Sasquatch to approach the edge of development late at night, Moneymaker said. He said the recent economic development on the eastern edge of the Ashland community has likely encroached on areas that Sasquatch have frequented, previously unseen. In his website report, the Bigfoot guru suggested those interested check the swampy zone directly north of the siding. A specific place to look for tracks would be where the swampy zone and Jerome Fork passes, underneath the I-71 freeway. Follow the deer paths in the area. Within a couple of days, he said, a woman, who had seen his web report, was traveling through the area on I-71. He said she stopped and took photos and found what looked like excellent places on the Jerome Fork, where if flows under the highway, there would be prime spots for a Sasquatch to take refuge. Moneymaker assigned the Ashland sighting a Class A rating, the highest on his three-tiered scale. According to his website, the difference between the classifications relates to the potential for misinterpretation of what was observed or heard. A given witness might be very credible, but could have honestly misinterpreted something that was seen, found, or heard. Thus, for the most part, the circumstances of the incident determine the potential for misinterpretation, and therefore the classification of the report. He said Class A reports 
involve clear sightings in circumstances where misinterpretation or misidentification of other animals can be ruled out with greater confidence. In Ashland, there are only three possibilities. Either the witness is lying, which I am sure she is not, or she saw someone in a Bigfoot costume, which makes no sense. Ordinarily in a hoax, the person reporting the sighting or taking the photos is in on the scam. Or, she saw a real Bigfoot, which I believe is the case here. After a while of doing these kinds of investigations, you get pretty good at knowing when someone is telling the truth, Moneymaker said. He said there have been thousands of credible Sasquatch sightings over the years, including many in the Mohican River area, adding more credibility to the Ashland woman's report. My hypothesis is they follow water, creeks, streams, rivers, ridgelines, and abandoned railroad beds, as well as power line routes. Those are the same pathways followed by deer, which Sasquatch is seeking, he said. According to his website, this marks the sixth Sasquatch sighting in Ashland County, dating back to 1943 when a man recalled being picked up by a Bigfoot as a child. More recently in 2015, residents at a campground near Ludenville reported seeing a tall figure, perhaps 8 feet tall, in the shadows before it bolted away. The woman's report does seem particularly detailed for a prank, and what would she have to gain from lying? She saw something that night. Don't forget to sign up for our Patreon page. Members get early access to videos, ad-free, and you can see content you can't see anywhere else.